Well, you don't have to go to your city or town's library to grab a book. Thousands are set up in front of people's homes. Little free libraries are located in 115 countries, giving readers a chance to pick up a book. One local family is keeping a loved one's memory alive with their own pop-up library right in their front yard. We take you to Grand's Lending Library and this week's Street Stories. The bedlam of rain on the picnic shelter's tin roof was akin to a truck driving through a Steinway factory. A fun way to promote reading. Her phone, which had been submerged in her waterproof pocket. And keeping a beloved mother's memory alive with this little free library. She grew up in a lighthouse when she was a kid. And so, you know, how much is there to do when you're on a little island with nothing to do but read or play with your siblings? I like the feel of a book and the, you know, holding it so and my mom always had piles of books everywhere. They were next to the bed and in the kitchen and everywhere, in the trunk of the car, in the back seat of the car, in the front seat of the car. Because you know, if she finished one book when she was waiting for somebody, she needed another book to start. Laura Crow honoring her late mother, Gail, with this. Grand's Lending Library on Troy Street in Rumford. This box filled with books for people of all ages. She says her family enjoys seeing people come by and getting books. The FedEx man has checked it out and one day he didn't pick up anything and I was so sad. And then um, the next week I made sure there was something better in there and he left with a book and we chatted. <laughs> Laura says she knew this would be a wonderful way to honor her mom. Putting out a little free library out in the front yard, it's fun to see everybody come in and grab a book or maybe leave some books. It's always a surprise when we come home and it's a reminder that there's something about mom out there. I take a shelfie every week when I update the book, so I literally take a picture of the shelf so that I know it's there. So when I come home, I'm like, why does that look different? And I can look and compare and see what books they took. Laura says she originally promoted Grand's Lending Library by passing out flyers in the neighborhood. Now through Facebook, Instagram, and the national Little Free Library app, she's able to invite people to share in her love for reading, something that brings joy to her life after seeing her mom suffer and eventually pass away from COVID in 2021. You're wearing the gowns and the masks and um, I spent the last night with her when we knew she was going to pass and just held her hand. And I actually put on an audiobook of Little Women for her because that was her favorite book. I tried to play a little Elvis Presley for her and I just held her hand. My mom was my son. Around, you know, my entire earth rotated around my mom. She's the one who gave me life and taught me everything. So seeing her that week, I just kind of said, it's okay, you can go. While Gail Barker has passed on. I keep her alive in that library. We have a stamp. We stamp every book. So it says in loving memory of Gran. You know, we post things. I have a plan to do something for her birthday and put all Gran liked books in there. Just a wonderful way to keep her memory alive. Yeah. Now, she tells me she matches books to the times of year and celebrations, so she's going to have books out for Black History Month, and you can stop by her house and get some. It's a fantastic story, and I love the stamp, too, yep. because more and more people are going to learn about her mom, her mom's name, and associate it with reading, which I can only imagine her mom smiling <laughs> knowing that.